So our menu set up and now we can work on our inside page template. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my text editor, Sublime Text, and we know our function works so we can delete this commented code out. And it's good. We're going to need to open up a new file and we're going to save it as page.php and it has to be named exactly that way. Just like the index.php, I'm going to need to um, include the uh, header and footer. So I'll put get header. And I'm worried about that right now. And get footer. Forget semicolon. And I said I wanted to make it a two column layout. So I'm going to start out with the div at the class of uh, container. Um, inside that container, I need a class of row. I did with the class of row. And let's go ahead and do span eight and span four divs for our main area. Now if you still haven't installed that package for WordPress uh, snippets, you're probably going to want to after this. In WordPress, they have something called the loop, and it's very important because um, it's basically what generates the content on your page. Uh, if you just type the loop and hit tab, you'll see this block of code uh, presented, and what it's doing is it's a while loop that checks um, if there's content within a post or if a post exists or I should say it checks if a post exists and it has content and speaking of content um, let's we get the content from our page by using a function called the content and uh, just like our header and footer functions it's gonna retrieve um, some info for us if we save this, let's switch back to the browser and head over to the about page. You'll see now our content uh, is generated and it's on each page. Um, also, within this loop, you can use another function called um, the title. And what the title does is it gets the, uh, the title of your page. Whenever you see these before and after uh, variables, that means that you can wrap uh, the content with uh, whatever you want. And uh, I'll go ahead and wrap these with H3. And I'll save it. Switch back and refresh. And now you see it's calling our title of our page.